What did Archbishop Vigano have to say? With great scandal for the salvation of souls and the honor of the Church of Christ, the Bishops' Conference of Belgium has approved and published a right for blessing homosexual unions, brazenly contravening the immutable teaching of the Catholic Magisterium, which considers such unions intrinsically perverse, and which, as such, not only may not bless them, but rather must condemn them as contrary to the natural moral law. If sexual acts that are not ordered to the procreation of children. There is a process that procreates a new human person. That's the way, that's why God made the boy body parts and God made the girl body parts. They fit together and it makes a baby. He also instituted rules and the rules governing that go under the title matrimony. The man and the woman make a lifelong commitment. Why? Because they have to raise that child. And unlike squirrels and cats and horses and dogs, it takes at least 16 to 20 years to raise one of these little human persons. My wife and I are blessed to have eight of them. We make a lifelong commitment to create an environment to educate them, to develop them, to love them so that they become another person that knows, loves, and serves God. That's the whole thing. So if you, if a man or a woman are using their private parts, their procreative organs, in ways that are not oriented to the procreation of children in the context of the rules of holy matrimony, it is a sin. According to natural law, according to Stoicism, according to the Old Testament, according to Catholicism. That's just... That's just the facts. That's the tradition. Tradition! It's kind of like me saying, I'm just going to put food in my right ear all the time. That's how I'm going to eat. No, God didn't make my right ear to digest food. I can affirm that. I can make everybody recognize that or lose their job. I could start parades and say, everybody, I'm going to eat food in my right ear, but that's not how God made the right ear. Okay, so Archbishop Vigano goes on, the ideological basis for the sacrilegious rite, this is the Belgium rite, is indicated in the subtly deceptive words of Amoris Laetitia, which states that, quote, every person, regardless of sexual orientation, ought to be respected in his or her dignity and treated with consideration, end quote. Now, of course, Every single human person, whether they're a, a homosexual, uh, a transsexual, or someone who embezzles money, or someone who has sex before marriage, or an adulterer, or an idolater, name any of these sins, go down the Ten Commandments, all of those people we should love, we should care for, give pastoral care. But in all of those cases, if we look at Jesus Christ in the four canonical Gospels, he challenges all people to repent and enter the kingdom of heaven. There's always the element of penance, repentance. You know what Jesus said. Go and sin no more. Not let me bless your disordered life. Let me bless and hallow and approve of a disordered, sinful, degenerate lifestyle. No, no, no. Go and sin no more. As my Father in heaven is perfect, so also be perfect. Ooh. That is the challenge of the crucified Savior, Jesus Christ. And Amoris Laetitia Archbishop Vigano is saying it comes dangerously close, if not crosses the border, of saying, you know what? We can give pastoral accompaniment to people who aren't in valid marriages. They can receive communion without conforming their life to the traditional teachings of Catholicism. That's the tradition. Tradition!